You don't find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying in the Quran, Inna Allah ma'al mustaghfirin. Inna Allah ma'al qanitin. Inna Allah ma'al musallin. Inna Allah ma'al sa'imin. Allah is with the praying, the ones who pray. Allah is with the ones who fast. Allah is with uh, the ones who seek forgiveness. Allah is with and Allah is with. But you see, in Allah Ma'asabirin, Allah is with the patient. Allah is with the patient. SubhanAllah. This is where Al Hafid ibn Rajab rahimahullah, he said that I, I've studied all of the ayat and the ahadith where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions his ma'iyya. He mentions his being with a person. And every single ayah or hadith where Allah mentions his being with a person shows that that person has lost something and so he said that Allah never takes something away from you except that he gives you something in return and the best thing Allah can give you when he takes something away from you is what himself Allahu Akbar the best thing Allah can give you when he takes something away from you is himself but Allah never leaves you empty-handed if Allah takes something away from you a ni'mah from you Allah gives you something but the best thing he can give you is himself subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so every single time Allah mentions his ma'iyya, his being with a person, even in the hadith, when the Prophet ﷺ mentioned that a person would come on the day of judgment, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would say, I was sick and you did not visit me. Can you imagine Allah saying, I was sick and you did not visit me? And the person would say, Ya Allah, how could I visit you? You're the Lord of the world. What does that even mean? You know, on the day of judgment, everything's pretty straightforward. <laughs> That's one of those conversations where a person would be shocked. Yeah, Allah, you were sick. I didn't visit you. What does that even mean? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, didn't you know that so-and-so was sick? And had you visited that person, you would have found me with him. You would have found me with him. So Allah never takes a ni'mah from you except He gives you something in return. The best thing Allah can give you is Himself. If in your hardship you rediscover a meaningful relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you better believe that that hardship is the best thing that ever happened to you. Whatever that hardship was, whatever that bala' was, if that was the cause of you to find Allah and to rediscover Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, trust me, on the Day of Judgment, you won't regret it. 